Indian-born chef, cookbook author, restaurateur, and a friend of Anoki, Vikram Vich presented the award-winning festival hit, The Lunchbox, at the Toronto International Film Festival's Food on Film series this past spring. Anoki Pulse TV caught up with Vikram to talk about the importance of capturing food on film and using it as a visual device to communicate complex thoughts and emotions in order to establish a connection with the audience. Check it out. Now, we've cooked in your kitchen before. We have seen you in the den as a dragon. And now we're seeing you here at TIFF's Food on Film Festival where you're, we're going to be presenting the lunchbox. My first question is, how significant do you think it is to have food on film? Food has played an integral role in any form of movie making. Especially Bollywood movies, they are total sensory overloads. They present food, love, romance, death touch, sex, or talk about it, yeah. and it's in a Bollywood movie. So I think food plays an extremely important role, not only in the film, but outside of the film. Really? So when you see a movie like Lunchbox, it arouses not only your uh, sensory feelings, but it talks about sex, talks about loneliness, talks about what you go through in everyday life. And Bombay Dabawalas were like the most you know, integral part of Bombay. The Lunchbox received so much praise, especially for its representation of food. Why do you think this film was so effective in its portrayal? Because we all walked out hungry. You know, our mouths were salivating. But at the same time, it was so integral to the story. What do you think, how did it strike a chord with the audience? Well, I think if you actually look at it, the acting of Irfan Khan is unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, he made it look like lonely man, that does his job really well, took pride in what he does and did not sacrifice, you know, from his accounting style, but fell in love with the simplicity of the aromas of the spices and the flavors. And so when the box was open and he would smell it with his eyes, you could see that he was not just mentally aroused, but he was actually physically and emotionally aroused. And that's what food does to you. It arouses you to take it to a different level altogether. You had just mentioned about food not only on film, but in real life as well. How do you think a film like Lunchbox, or food on film, period, helps shape people's relationship with food? Because we all have a relationship with food, whether it's good or bad. I think especially movies like Lunchbox, or um, 100 Foot Journey, uh, or like Water for Chocolate. Like if you take all these movies, they just talk about touch your food, touch mm -hmm your feelings, touch this, touch that, it's emotional. And when you touch things, something so j delicately with your hands, mm -hmm. you're able to enjoy just not only great food, but great flavors. When my wife died, she got a horizontal burial plot. I tried to buy a burial plot for myself the other day, and what they offered me was a vertical one. I spent my whole life standing in trains and buses, now I'll have to stand even when I'm dead. Why don't you have another child? Sometimes having a child can help a marriage. Now, how is your reception when you're watching films like this? Because you are very refined in the culinary world. You've got restaurants, you've got cookbooks, you're such a big personality. Do you think having that expertise helped you see and appreciate these films differently? Or do you think that the regular viewer would have the same sort of reception too? I think it was not about the exactness of it. Had it okay. been about the exactness, had mm -hmm. it about, this is when I add the onions or the ginger or the garlic, I would have probably been able to criticize it. Yeah. It wasn't that about that at all. It wasn't about the recipe of a dish. Mm -hmm. It was about a recipe of life and the feeling. Okay. And recipe of yeah. life, everybody has their own. Everybody creates their own recipe. 